my name is Lainey, I'm 10 years old, and why do people have allergies? My name is Mark Garnick, and I am a physician at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and a faculty member at Harvard Medical School, both of which are located in Boston, Massachusetts. And the question is, why do people have allergies? For example, why do some people have allergies to substances such as peanuts? Well, a peanut is actually a pretty complicated food substance. And peanuts, like many different sub food substances, are made of certain chemicals. And there are certain patients whose immune system recognizes certain chemicals in an abnormal fashion. And when this chemical is introduced into the body after eating a peanut, that peanut is digested and some of the chemicals in the peanut get absorbed into the bloodstream. And that patient or that individual may react adversely to the chemical substance in the peanut. And when the body does that, it reacts to, the, to this substance in an abnormal fashion. The majority of patients just allow the substance to get into the bloodstream and be digested. For patients who have, whose immune system is somewhat unusual, the body will look at that chemical substance from the peanut or from another food substance and say, this is a foreign chemical in my body and I, want to re I don't like it in my body. And that the body's immune system that includes both the production of antibodies and the production of certain types of cells will attack that chemical. And in so attacking that chemical, those cells release a whole series of other substances that can cause allergic type manifestations. The most significant type of allergic manifestation is difficulty breathing. That's the most common form, the most severe form of an allergic manifestation. Other less common forms of allergic manifestations is patients may break out in a, in a red type rash or a skin rash. So there are certain abnormalities of the person's immune system that allows it to react in an abnormal fashion to chemicals in certain foodstuffs, such as peanuts, strawberries, shellfish, lobster, eggplant, any one of these foodstuffs that have complex molecules that the body reacts to in an abnormal fashion. Another common type of allergy is allergies to medicines. The most common being patients who are allergic to a very important antibiotic called penicillin. And penicillin, again, it comes from natural substances. It's made into a drug form that's used to treat bacterial infections. And a substantial number of patients actually develop an allergic reaction to penicillin as a, chemi as a chemical that once it's introduced into the body, the, your body says, this is a foreign substance, I need to get rid of it, and consequently leads to the elaboration of antibodies against the substance and cells that try to attack the substance. And the antibodies, when it interacts with the penicillin, creates a whole series of chemical reactions that lead to an allergic reaction. And the most common form of an allergic reaction is so-called anaphylactic shock, which means that the chemicals from the antibody and the, and the penicillin molecule lead to swelling and uh, increased blood vessel formation and increased uh, size of some vital organs, including the vocal cords, which can lead to difficulty in breathing with wheezing and asthmatic types of situations or the most common form of an allergic reaction is actually a rash that occurs on the skin as diffuse red blotches. So when, a, when an allergic reaction is going to occur, sometimes can be predicted. Oftentimes it can't be predicted, but the important aspect is that if you think you've got an allergy to either a foodstuff or to a certain type of drug or medication, it's very important to be tested in a controlled way to determine whether or not you are allergic and if so, that substance needs to be avoided and completely avoided in the rest, for the rest of your lifetime.